Okay, let's talk pineapples. Now, for anybody watching this in Taiwan, you will no doubt be fully aware as to why I'm talking about pineapples. But if you are watching this from outside of Taiwan, you may not know that pineapples and the hashtag Freedom Pineapple has been headline news ever since last week when China's General Administration of Customs announced that they would be suspending imports of all Taiwanese pineapples as of March the 1st. Apparently in response to several types of mealy bugs being found in Taiwanese pineapple shipments between March and May last year. Now, before we get started and looking at this situation, I want to make one thing very, very clear. No matter what I say in this video, I am by absolutely no means a fan of China, nor the way China do things. And if I never visit China again in the rest of my life, then that's absolutely fine by me. This is a subjective channel, so of course there's going to be lots of people that disagree with me, but I want to make my stance on China very clear from the start. The people who live there may be nice, friendly people, but the government and the way they do things just fall well short of what is expected in my opinion. And this is just another typical example of how they think they can bully other countries around the world. But actually, I don't really want the focus of this video to be about China. After all, they, just like us here in Taiwan, are an independent country with the right to choose who they buy or don't buy their fruits and other imports from. And they too, of course, have been the subject of many other uh, export and import embargoes from other countries around the world and there are hundreds of products made in China that are actually banned for sale here in Taiwan too. So although I've heard many false rumors that 90% of all pineapples made in Taiwan are sold to China and the Taiwan pineapple industry is now in dire straits, my research has shown this not really to be true and of about the 420,000 tons of pineapples that are produced in Taiwan each year. About 45,000 tons are sold as exports and approximately 41,000 tons are sold to China, which by my basic maths means that about eight to nine percent of Taiwan's pineapple production actually found their way to China in the past. So yes, it's not a small amount, but one thing I wanna make clear in this video is that Taiwan is not a country that can be bullied or belittled by any other country, especially one as abhorrent as China. And as I'm making this video, the whole event is still raging on. Uh, there's lots of information flying about, so I don't really wanna to claim to be an expert on the subject, but it would seem that China's claims to have found so many of these mealy bugs in Taiwanese pineapples the claims are somewhat unfounded. Not to mention that the timing of this announcement by the Chinese government, waiting since May last year up until now, right before Taiwanese farmers are preparing to ramp up production in preparation for peak pineapple season, it all just seems a little bit suspicious to me. So yes, it's pretty obvious that this whole thing goes much deeper than just being about pineapples. It's obviously political, and anyone who thinks it isn't must have been living on the moon for the past 70 years or so. And when I was watching the Taiwanese news this morning, I learned that the previous government of Taiwan actually shared some of Taiwan's pineapple technology and seedlings with China while it was in power as part of a cultural exchange. So it's probably no coincidence that now after several years and probably getting their own farming process up to a passable standard that they then ban their own citizens from having the choice between Taiwan's sweet delicious pineapples or their homegrown offering. And that's one of the biggest problems I have with China regarding this situation and with China in general in that they punish their own people by completely taking away their choice. I guess that's what any good dictatorship would do. So yes, it's actually the Chinese citizens that will suffer more because of this. And yes, it's just the pineapple and their people face much more serious problems on a daily basis. But this example just represents how the government of China view their people as not worthy of making their own decisions. And despite what some Taiwanese news channels will tell us, I personally think that the Taiwanese people and the farmers won't be too affected by this situation. Of course, if we just ignore the situation and don't react at all, then yes, of course, it could
could have a really negative effect on the farmers and the people related to the pineapple farming industry. 9% loss of total sales would affect any business negatively. But here is my main point of the video. Taiwanese people just won't allow this to happen to their people. Friends look after and support each other. That's just a fact of life. When friends of Taiwanese people start a business, then they'll go and support them. Buy a cake, buy a t-shirt, buy a painting, go get a tattoo from a friend who started up his own business. Maybe I'm talking more about myself than Taiwanese people, but that's true and Taiwanese people do the same and that's exactly what they're doing right now with this pineapple crisis. Taiwanese social media right now is full of members of the public, influencers, YouTubers, politicians, all encouraging each other to go out and buy more pineapples and support the pineapple industry. And from what I can gather by my basic maths, if a person who regularly buys 10 pineapples a year goes out and buys 11 or 12 pineapples this year, then the pineapple industry won't actually be affected at all. So if you are yet to go out and buy your pineapple this week, then why not make it today? Go out, buy a pineapple, support the pineapple industry of Taiwan and show them that Taiwanese people have got their backs. And talking a little bit about how friends look after each other, support each other in times of need, it's reminded me of a little bit of a difficult situation I've been through these past few months and how my circle of friends have really stood up, surrounded me and supported me and through messages, words of support or simply being there when I wasn't my full self, they've really shown me that friends are important when things get difficult. And this hashtag Freedom Pineapple event has kind of matched my situation and reminded me of this feeling of friendship and support. And sometimes it doesn't have to come from within Taiwan. The people of Japan have already placed orders for an extra 30% more pineapples on top of what they would usually order. And when talking to a Taiwanese friend recently about this, she told me that every time she meets a Japanese person and they find out that she's Taiwanese, one of the first things that they mention is the 311 earthquake and how Taiwan was one of the first countries in the world to offer support, aid and relief to the victims of that earthquake and how Japan feel that they will never be able to repay the love and support they felt from Taiwan at that difficult time. Now, of course, there may come a time in future when we here in Taiwan need a huge amount of help from the international community. Who knows what's just around the corner? So it's always good to know that smaller, less catastrophic issues such as this pineapple saga can help cement the relationships between good friends and between friendly countries such as Japan and Taiwan for when bigger dramas come. So a very quick thanks from me personally to the people of Japan for your support in this matter. And I really hope you enjoy those extra pineapples you're gonna be eating over the coming months. So yes, thanks to the people of Japan and indeed thanks to any other country that increases the orders of Taiwanese pineapples over the coming few months. But I feel a bigger thanks must go to ourselves, the people here in Taiwan, for looking after each other and protecting ourselves when those big international bullies come knocking. Pineapples here in Taiwan have always had a really special meaning because of their pronunciation in the Taiwanese language, uh, Ong Lai, which means uh, good luck is coming, wealth is coming. But I feel that the meaning of pineapples in Taiwan will somewhat change now in the future and probably come to represent uh, freedom, democracy and Taiwan's strength in the face of adversity. But I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say on the topic and really just wanted to share my feeling as to how we shouldn't worry too much about other people's business. If they don't want our pineapples, then we'll keep them to ourselves and enjoy them all the more. If you've been eating extra pineapple this week, then let me know down below how many extra you've eaten. Or of course, feel free to give me your opinion on anything I've said in the comment section down below. There's no doubt gonna be a lot of umaos coming from China in the comment section. So if you see one of them, why not just reply to their comments with a cheeky little smile and a pineapple emoji to let them know how much those sour haters are gonna be missing out on Taiwan's sweet pineapples. But I think that's it. So time to say sayonara as for now. And as always, I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace, bye bye.
If you're still here to the very, very end of the video, I want you to go back and see how many different places we had the pineapples positioned in. Uh, it took us lots of extra time and effort to move the pineapple around, but why not? Just a little bit of fun. Go back, check the video, see how many different positions we had the pineapples in. Okay, bye guys. Peace.